why use pointers returning multiple values from a function based on what you have learned so far from our discussion in the earlier section of functions it can only return a single value using the return mechanism if you try to return more than one value from a function only one value will be returned that appears at the rightmost place of the return statement you can return multiple values from the function using the pointer array or the structure using pointers you can use pointers to return more than one value from a function by passing pointers as function parameters and use them to set multiple values which will then have visibility in the caller function let's write a program to demonstrate that create a new file in code blocks and save it as s8_02.c file new empty file press control s s8_02.c click save quickly include the header file hash include open close angular brackets stdio.h write the main function int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon declare two integer and one character variables int a comma b semicolon char c semicolon call a function and pass the addresses of these variables initialize open close parenthesis semicolon and pass ampersand a comma ampersand b comma ampersand c that is the addresses of these variables finally print the values of these variables from main print if open close parenthesis semicolon with in double quotes write a equals to percent d comma b equals to percent d comma c equals to percent c comma a comma b comma c define the initialize function that takes three pointer variables void initialize open close parenthesis int star a comma int star b comma char star c open close curly brace using the value at address or star or asterisk operator initialize these variables star a equals to 10 semicolon star b equals to 20 semicolon and star c equals to within single quotes a semicolon press f9 to check the output build build and run all right using array if you want to return multiple values of same data type from a single function then using an array is best suited because when an array name is passed as an argument then its base address is passed to the function so whatever changes made to the array is changed in the original array let's write a program to demonstrate that create a new file in code blocks and save it as s8_03.c file new empty file press control s s8_03.c quickly include the header file hash include open close angular brackets str.h int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon in main declare an integer array with dimension 3 so it can hold up to 3 elements int err open close brackets 3 inside the brackets semicolon call initialize function and pass the array name which is the base address of the array initialize open close parenthesis err which is the array name or the base address finally print the array elements to show that we can return multiple values from a function using array 
printf, open close parenthesis, semicolon, within double quotes, write first equals to percent d, comma second equals to percent d, comma third equals to percent d. After the double quotes, write a r r within brackets zero, comma a r r within brackets one, comma a r r within brackets two. All right. After the min, define the initialize function. Void initialize open close parenthesis int star a open close curly brace inside the initialize function using the value at address operator or star operator initialize the first array element with 10 star a equals to 10 semicolon increment a by 1 to point to the next array element and using the star operator initialize it with 20 star open close parenthesis a plus 1 equals to 20 semicolon increment a by 3 to point to the third array element and using the star operator initialize it with 30 star open close parenthesis a plus 2 you can also put a space here equals to 30 semicolon press f9 to check the output build build and run first equals to 10 second equals to 20 and third equals to 30 perfect using structure another way to return multiple values from a function is by using structures Structure is user defined data type in C that can hold several data types of the same or different type. The idea is to create a structure variable containing all required data types as its members and return that from function. We can then retrieve the values from the structure variable inside our caller function. Let's write a program to demonstrate that. Create a new file in code blocks and save it as s8-04.c. File new empty file press control s s8 underscore 04 dot c include the header file hash include open close angular brackets stdio dot h write the main function int main open close parenthesis void as parameter open close curly brace return 0 semicolon so define the structure at the beginning before writing main function. Write struct is the keyword, book is the structure name, open close curly brace and semicolon. We will declare a character array of size 20 to store the name of the book and integer variable to store the number of pages of that book and a float variable for storing price. So care name open close brackets 20 as array dimension int pages semicolon float price semicolon. Define a function that initializes a structure variable and returns the structure. Write struct book. Initialize open close parenthesis, open close curly brace. We don't need a semicolon here since it's a function. Write struct book book in small equals to open close curly brace semicolon within double quotes. Initialize the first structure element programming with C for number of pages provide 300 and for price 100.0 return this structure variable from the function next inside the main 
call our initialize function and store the return value in a structure variable of type book. struct book book equals to initialize open close parenthesis semicolon. Next, print the individual book member variables. Printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write name equals to percent s backslash n comma book dot name printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write pages equals to percent d backslash n comma book dot pages and printf open close parenthesis semicolon within double quotes write price equals to percent f comma book dot price press f9 to check the output name equals to programming with c pages equals to 300 and price equals to 100.6 zeros after decimal point perfect if you are confused about structures don't worry we will discuss about structures in later section that's all for this lecture see you in the next lecture